What's up y'all? In this video, we're gonna get a real live look at Swanee. We're gonna drive around, we're gonna check out some neighborhoods, we're gonna check out some things to do, we're gonna check out some things for the family to do. So come along, let's take a look and get a real experience of Swanee, Georgia. What's up y'all? We are driving through here in Chattahoochee Run. Great neighborhood that sits in the heart of Suwannee. We're gonna show you a few of the homes. What I love about this neighborhood is that they are different. They're not cookie cutter homes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just a preference. Um, and then we're also gonna take a look at the amenities. Show you what you get when you buy a home in here and what you can do on the weekends or really whatever time. Tennis, swimming, whatever it may be. So let's check it out y'all. All right, y'all, let's check out the amenities here at Chattahoochee Run. I'm gonna show you the tennis courts first. Now, I myself am not a tennis player, but I respect and know the game a little bit. So let's take a look at that. Yep, beautiful, looks resurfaced recently. And then here's another thing that I love, okay? You can always tell if somebody is a Georgia native by if they can find the shade no matter where they're at. I can always find the shade. So we've got this cool little pergola going on where you can sit, watch tennis, and be in the shade. All right, so let's take a look at the playground. All right, if you got a family, you got kids, it's always a bonus to have an HOA uh, amenities with a full on playground. And I gotta say, when it comes to playgrounds, this one's pretty awesome. Multiple slides, the ever famous swirly slide, we got of course, the swing sets over there that every kid loves to swing and then jump out at its, its highest point. Real, uh, real safe, but don't worry. There's an urgent care right around the corner from this neighborhood as well for those kids that don't jump out of the swing correctly. Then you've got a, even a little mini climbing wall. That's also a good community here for climbing. In fact, I'm gonna show you later today an indoor climbing gym. Kids, adults alike are welcome there. So let's also check out one more very important thing when it comes to amenities in Georgia, and that's the swimming pool, because it gets hot in Georgia. In fact, it's almost like they should call Atlanta something like Hot Atlanta. Let's check it out. Here we are, guys, at the swimming pool. I'm not gonna hop the fence. Might rip a vest or something, but you can see awesome Olympic-sized swimming pool, lots of great space around it, and check out this clubhouse you can use as a resident here in this neighborhood. Boom, look at that. Two story clubhouse, beautiful, beautiful amenities here, River Club. Let me give you a quick snapshot of just a couple of homes here so you get an idea of the feel and the vibe of this neighborhood as well. All right, here's the front of that clubhouse. You see the Chattahoochee Club. Beautiful, look at that. That's just the clubhouse. Let's take a look at a couple of the houses just right across the street. Love it. Brick side, you got the traditional two-story porch on the front. Gives great architectural style. Got another three-side brick home beside it, three-car garage. So you get kind of a vibe and a feeling for this beautiful neighborhood. Chattahoochee Run, Heart of Swanee. All right, y'all, we just drove through and still driving through one of my favorite town home communities in Swanee. I think it's called The Point. There's not a lot of uh, 
big signs out, which is another reason I like it. It's just kind of quaint, private. I have had a friend once tell me as we drove through this neighborhood that Swanee really is the uh, suburb paradise, the paradise of suburbs, which I can see that. A lot of great homes, a lot of great amenities, a lot of great things to see. There is nice homes, but there's still affordable restaurants, affordable shopping, uh, just a great place to, to live or to raise a family. Um, and so I'll also show you just a few of the, the shops around this little townhome community and the restaurants and, uh, and the grocery store. So let's take a look at that, y'all. So that was Hacienda Mexican Restaurant. Uh, that's another one of the restaurants among some of the shopping near that awesome townhome community that I just showed you guys. So uh, they've got live mariachi on the weekends, which is always fun. And they've just got a really cool, creative, kind of quirky menu. Um, things like fried avocado, which again, in Georgia, pretty much fry anything, we're gonna love it. Um, they also have, I believe it's like a lobster quesadilla. That's delicious. So great restaurant that you can walk to if you live in those townhomes. And one of my favorites, one of my wife and I's favorite Mexican restaurants, Hacienda. Check it out. All right, so showed you just a couple of quick uh, neighborhoods uh, that are favorites of mine. Um, showed you where there's a little bit of shopping, that fresh market where my wife likes to steal coffee. Not really steal it. She just drinks a lot of the free samples. Um, and so now we're going to head over. We're going to check out a few places. It's great for the kids, great for the adults to have some fun. We're going to go check out uh, Adrenaline Climbing. It's an indoor climbing gym that is family friendly. I think y'all will like it. So let's go check it out. All right, what's up, y'all? We're here at Adrenaline Climbing, and unfortunately, they're closed today. Or not today, they just don't open till 4 p.m. It's a little bit early on a Friday. They're open all day on the weekends, but they don't open till around four during the weekdays. But the good news is, I'm gonna show you another spot. One of my favorite spots, uh, one of the spots my kids love, a buddy of mine, Paul Creighton, ex-UFC fighter, uh, ex-gold medalist in jujitsu owns a gym here, Paul Creighton, called Creighton Mixed Martial Arts. There you go, you can see it on the sign. So let me give you a quick tour of the place. Great family atmosphere. Paul's one of the most gentlest guys that you'll meet. So let's check it out. All right, here we are inside of Creighton MMA. See a great, comfortable waiting area for the parents if they don't wanna go out on the mats and watch their kids train, or if you're just tired after class, it's a great place to chill out. As we walk in, We'll start to walk into the training facility. You can see all the, the great competitors, the wall of fame, if you will, here that have trained here. This is a Henzo Gracie gym. You may have heard of Gracie, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. So here we are. It's a training area. They've got a lot of good classes to get folks in shape. A lot of heavy bags, kickboxing bags. We've also got some some weight training. So there you have it, Creighton MMA. We're gonna go check out Atlanta Silverbacks here in Swanee. They've got soccer fields, uh, soccer leagues for kids. Uh, you can do a birthday party here, just a number of different cool things. So let's check it out. So if you're one of those guys who's not giving up on sports and you don't get injured every time you run like some people, then it's a great place to sign up. You can also do birthday parties. They've got some party rooms, do cake, pizza, the whole nine yards. Great place to check out with your family. Or even if you're not with your family, 
And like I said, you're an adult, just still want to play some sports, some soccer, come by Swanee Silverbacks, part of Swanee. All right, y'all, let's go check out Monkey Wrench Brewery. Going to give you a quick tour of this awesome local brewery located right in Swanee. Let's check it out. So immediately as you walk in Monkey Wrench, there is this cool industrial vibe going on. You've got the Monkey Wrench uh, mural. You've got this great idea of what they call pour it forward. It's similar to uh, pay it forward, you can see. If you're a veteran, somebody has already paid in, uh, paid for a beer for you, just come in, tell me you're a vet, you get a free beer. Um, if you're an elementary school teacher, if you're a firefighter, if you wanna come in here and go, hey, you know what, I wanna pay it forward. I would love to see a great realtor in need of a beer get a free beer, hint, hint. All right, so let's keep on taking this tour. You've got uh, their kind of what you would call a bar with all their local brews. Everything is brewed here. We're gonna even take a look at uh, where all the magic happens. Maybe you wanna get a beer to go. You've got these cans. You may have heard of growlers. These are called crowlers. They're in a can. Uh, it says what beer's on it, the brew date, all that good stuff. Uh, so check that out. And now let's go check out where all the magic happens. All right, so we're back here where all the breweries are. You can see, oh man, look at those beautiful machines. Look at that. Huge warehouse space back here. There's gonna be, not only is this gonna be a brewery, but they've got a distillery that's coming about. They're putting in uh, two more big bathrooms if you've been up here. They're, they're doing some renovations, some improvements. They're gonna be putting in another bar back here, right around in that area. And then right over here will be some more. And then they're putting in the distillery right about this spot here. And then let's go check out what they call their beer garden out back. Now, the cool thing about this, they don't have necessarily a kitchen here, but they'll have food trucks come and park out here in the beer garden. You can hang out. They've got heaters out here if it gets cold. They've got the Edison bulb light bulbs over the spot. Gives a nice vibe, nice mood. You can see tons of space to hang out here. They even have on Sundays, they've got a cornhole league, just so many things, hard to even remember everything that they do. They've even got right now, they've got a way where you can become an investor in Monkey Ranch Brewery, crowdsourcing effort. Check that out. For as little as a hundred bucks, you too can be a part owner of a brewery. So there you have it, Monkey Ranch Brewery. If you're in Swanee, it's definitely a spot that needs to be on top of your list to check out. What's up y'all out here at George Pierce Park? One of the parks that my family and I come to a lot. I coach football out here, my son plays football. So we're out here at the football field, which there's so much more to George Pierce Park than just the football field. There's obviously, there's baseball fields out here. There's basketball courts, indoor and outdoor. There is a senior facility that has all kinds of activities. Uh, miles and miles of walking trails. There's a lake here. There is just a uh, unlimited amount of amenities. Maybe not unlimited, but there's a lot of amenities. So again, checking out George Pierce Park, great place to bring the family, whether you're into sports, whether you're into walking, whether you're just, just want to experience some outdoors, come check out George Pierce Park. All right, y'all, here at another great community in Swanee. This is called Harvest Park. It is a blend of some big, beautiful single-family homes, as well as some smaller single-family homes, 
and some really cool modern townhomes as well. You can kind of see we're here at the clubhouse with some of the amenities. You can see here behind me, those are some of the townhomes that they have built. There's still tons of construction going on. You can see that right there behind me that is going on. Another great thing about this community is it is just a stone's throw to the Swanee Town Center in downtown Swanee. Now, stone's throw, you might have to have a pretty good arm because we're talking maybe half mile. So I don't know if I could throw a stone a half mile, but you can definitely walk. You can hear the train in the background. The train runs straight through downtown Swanee, uh, right by the Swanee Greenway, which is something we're gonna check out next. So again, uh, Harvest Park, great community, a blend of prices, because you can go from a town home to a single family home to a big, beautiful single family home. Not that they're all, not all beautiful. They're all beautiful here, but you can go small or you can go big. So let's go check out our next stop. All right, y'all, we're down here at the Swanee Town Center. It's an awesome place. Tons of stuff is going down, usually down here. Um, you can see across the street is Town Hall, right there, City Hall for Swanee. Um, you might hear the noise in the background. I'm out here near the fountains where I'll bring my kids to come play. You can see there's kids playing in the fountain. Behind me then is a big green space. People love bring your Frisbee up here bring your football up here, whatever you wanna do, go and play. Um, just tons of space. It's also a great place if you're into concerts. They have a lot of great local concerts here. Um, around Christmas time, they'll have a Santa up here you can come see. Tons of festivals, farmer's markets, um, just all kinds of great things that are constantly happening up here at the Swanee Town Center. Uh, great restaurants. One of my favorite smoothie places is over here. Uh, there's a great Chinese restaurant, Golden 7. The classic Mellow Mushroom. Love their pizza. We've also got uh, Ippolito's. Don't even get me going on their rolls and marinara to dip in. Um, just tons of great Tequila Mama's, great Mexican restaurant. You can see back there where the amphitheater is, where they have the concerts. I'm standing out here in the middle of the green space. You can see how vast, how big it is. They'll set up, like I said, some of the farmer's market areas out there. Um, and then behind me is where you start to see all the restaurants, all the businesses. Behind me, as you can kind of see some of the businesses back here, behind there is a great community. There's some town homes back there, some single family homes. And even across some of the top of these restaurants, the upper floors, are actually great living spaces too. Some folks even have uh, the, the uh, rooftop balcony to be able to hang out and enjoy some of all the activities here at the Swanee Town Center from the comfort of their room, roof, not room, I guess it could be room too, but the comfort of their roof slash patio slash home. Great place to come and visit with the family, catch a quick bite, night out, date night, um, for a whole weekend, come check out Swanee Town Center. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the tour of just some of the cool stuff in Swanee. We got to see some of my favorite neighborhoods. We got to see um, where my wife loves to try and take all the free samples of coffee at Fresh Market. We got to see some of these um, great opportunities for families like Creighton MMA, Adrenaline Climbing, um, GSP, the Georgia Sports Performance, where youth athletes train. We got to see some great parks. Um, we got to see Swanee Town Center. And now, what a better way to end our day but then to come to the Swanee Town Center and end it with some great pizza, mellow mushroom. Um, so, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you got any questions, you can literally call me on this thing. I will answer answer more questions about Swanee, what it's like living down here. Think of me as your local tour guide. I can show you around. You can come to town, I'll show you some of my favorite spots in person, live. And also do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch all my future videos coming out. And so until next time, love y'all, peace.